What's up? Danny High Soccer with Colony helping people do their business better. Today we have the EPOS Expand Vision One Personal USB Webcam. Stay tuned. So now let's take a look at this EPOS Expand Vision One. Uh, they are breaking into the uh, personal webcam space and so this is a personal USB webcam with 4K video, two omnidirectional microphones, a carry case which is fantastic. Uh, it's certified for Microsoft Teams and Zoom and compatible with leading UC providers. Uh, this compact portable USB webcam delivers ultra sharp video and exceptional voice pickup uh, whether you work from home or on the go. And so just so you know I am actually using the Vision Expand to record the audio and the uh, video for this. So this guy comes in in an MSRP of $239. Uh, you get a two-year warranty, auto light correction, optimized for best picture quality in various light conditions. And of course, you know, we're going to do that. We're going to shut off all the lights uh, and then we're going to go into an area that has a really bright uh, background or backlight uh, so we can test the... Uh, uh, the correction, the auto light correction. So let's let's do this particular microphone pickup test. So uh, from here over to my door over there's 12 feet. So let's uh, let's test this out. And again, it doesn't have any auto uh, pickup or anything, or framing or tracking. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here I am, roughly uh, 12 feet away from the microphone. Uh, I'm gonna come over to this side. One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm probably uh, nine feet away uh, from the microphone. So this is what it would sound like if you were using the EPOS Expand Vision One uh, microphones. All right, and I'm coming back. Uh, the cable length is 1.2 meters or 3.9 feet. That's really important to know uh, in terms of how you set this guy up. Uh, you can mount it. Does have a tripod mount? Uh, I'm gonna mount it. I got me one of these little guys here, so I'm gonna stick it on here when I head out to my uh, dining room. Uh, but yeah, you can just sit it on the, you know, on a mount. Uh, so you can manage this remotely for enterprises with EPOS Manager uh, or the UC provider solutions. Uh, and for personal uh, sort of customization of this product, uh, you can download EPOS Connect uh, and we'll include links to that in the description box below. Uh, and then you're allowed to control zoom, uh, the light, uh, adjust colors, etc. And we're gonna show you that. Uh, right now so stay tuned all right and we're back so with epos connect you get this like floating manager uh, that pops out and so this is where you're going to be able to uh, customize the epos expand vision one to your personal preferences and so for example i can change this to uh, wide view i can go to the default i could go to close up Woo! All right, we're close. You can go dark. Ooh, ooh. You can go light. Or you can go back to default. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stick or keep it here to the default uh, sort of zoom versus the wide. Although I, I do prefer wide uh, most often times. I'm going to keep it here for now. Uh, but anyway, Let's uh, do some, some light tests and see how well this uh, EPOS Expand Vision 1 works in low light conditions as well as in uh, bright backlight conditions. Stay tuned. All right, so first up, we're gonna do a low light uh, test to see how well the EPOS Expand Vision 1 performs under extreme uh, low light conditions. So I'm gonna start the process of shutting down uh, all the lights. And then I've chosen a darker uh, background for my desktop here. Woo! All right, so now I'm gonna go turn off this light over here. All right. So now I am back and, ooh, man, all right. So this is what it would look like if you were using the EPOS Expand Vision 1 uh, in a low light uh, environment and I don't know how it looks to you, but it's kind of funky. I don't know if I can make it any darker or not. Uh, yeah, see, I just kind of, ooh, man. Oh, the camera just shut off. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's back. All right, so here we are in my dining room area where I have 
a really large window behind me and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the blinds so that you guys can see how the EPOS Expand Vision 1 uh, performs uh, in these conditions. All right, hold on. All right, so I'll open these guys up. Woo, that's bright. All right, and I'm back. All right, so there you go. So we have the blinds open and there's a ton of light pouring in uh, from behind me. So this is what it would look like if you were using the EPOS Expand Vision 1 with an extremely bright uh, backlight. All right, let's go back to talk about this more. All right, so there you go. There is a quick uh, overview and performance test of the EPOS Expand Vision 1. Of course, you know, I didn't adjust any settings uh, during those uh, light environment tests. Uh, so if you are, if you do find yourself in a low light or in an extremely bright uh, environment, you can go into the EPOS Connect uh, and just adjust the... Uh, the settings. Uh, some of the things that I like about this particular camera is this little LED light that's turned on to let me know that it's on uh, and, and, and filming me. Uh, the other thing is it's got an integrated privacy shutter so it's built into the camera so you don't lose it. There's nothing to snap on or glue on. It just it's built in which is awesome. Uh, and then another fantastic feature that more uh, webcam manufacturers need to provide, uh, especially in this new hybrid work world, work world where people are uh, working from various locations and transporting their gear to and from these uh, various locations uh, is this guy. So having this little case where you can neatly put your camera as well as the cable is a really fantastic uh, feature uh, for this. Um, but anyway, there you go. The EPOS Expand Vision 1. Uh, if you have any questions about this product, uh, you can reach out to us. Uh, all our information is going to be in the description box below. Uh, and as always, if you like this type of video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you'd like to see, and we'll do our best to make it. Thanks.